The biggest challenge the Maasai is uh, facing is that uh, lack of information is really a big challenge. We need education and education system that would actually incorporate the two worlds. We need to educate. We need a lot of training so that the Maasai can see the, 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 the world through modernity while living still in their traditional way of life. The education system we have now is not addressing the environmental issues at the community level. The education system we have is preparing uh, people for what, we, what I can actually call the white collar jobs. It's not really preparing them to come back to the communities and manage their uh, environment. We depend on this environment. So we need to have a curriculum that will actually direct almost everything in the society so that we can live uh, in harmony with environment here. Yeah. Scientific holistic management is an element that I would actually say that is going to address issues in Maasai land. Because incorporating science into the traditional knowledge is kind of going to assist the community to address the environmental issues that are affecting their locality. The knowledge transfer is now a problem. The, 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 the old people cannot advise the youth. The youth do not listen to the old. So there is that disconnect here. ICCS to me is an opportunity great opportunity for the Maasai to address the resource management politically. They are looking at the issues affecting the community holistically. And they are in a position because they are looking at it, they are, pro they are looking at the problem from another point of view. Nobody has addressed issues that are affecting the Maasai in the past. And now ICCS has come map, uh, trying to facilitate this community to address those issues and especially with the resource management. The government has not addressed and no other NGOs, are, I mean NGOs have not addressed. I, I, I don't believe that it's a future for now unless the issues affecting the Maasai are addressed. If you look at the way the Maasai are subdividing the land and look at pastoralism, pastoralism depends on the communal land uh, ownership aspect. Cattle are everything to the Maasai culture. You cannot separate a Maasai with a cow. The resource, the diminishing resource in Maasai land. That is, the grass especially is diminishing. And that's why we have Maasai moving all over. We have not addressed the issue of uh, grass, which is a very important resource to the Maasai culture, to their pastoral studies. We need to address the issue now. We need to uh, train the pastoralists to manage the grass. Not the grass, but uh, actually the environment. The Maasai view the wildlife as God creatures. So they don't tamper with the environment. They are very friendly to the environment. The Maasai need uh, a lot of, as I said before, a lot of uh, training, a lot of awareness, and especially to enable them to manage the change that is actually coming from modernization.